inside the cheese U. Um, it's actually pretty likely, if you're playing Evelyn or Shaco, that that's going to be where you get first blood, is just by going into the enemy jungle. So, it always just, it's an extra stress level factor that you need to worry about when you're playing in the jungle against a stealth champion. Like, hey, you're going to start, you're going to start on Gromp and go to blue second, well, there's an Evelyn on you. I think the last time I played against Evelyn, I was Hecarim, and she started on my wolf camp, and like I was going from Gromp to blue, and then I noticed that <laughs> someone had smited my wolf camp like as I came off of Gromp, and I was like, nope, and I just like ran out of that side of the jungle. Of course, she counter-jungled me, but what could I do? I don't know exactly where she is, and she's got the wolf smited, so she knows exactly where I am in that side of the jungle, so I just had to give it up. Now, ideally, we would have people watching the entrances, and if an Evelyn with Ignite did that, we would just kill her right off the bat. But my team wasn't helping me check entrances, so she snuck in. I'm going to just ask for a good leash. I could start on Krugs, but I'm too far away to run there now. I need Vayne to help leash. Make sure that that doesn't get stolen. She could still just like cheese me at the wolves though. It's kind of a concern. It's like, it's still possible that she could go from her red to my wolf camp, and if I'm in the wolf camp and I'm low, she could kill you. So we want to stick a little bit closer to the entrance than just staying in the camp. She also could just start on my red. We didn't have anyone scouting that, so rip. I would like to pull this into the bush. There we go. An extra second can save you or your flash. Because she did take Ignite. That is like the universal, like, I'm going to fucking cheese you as a jungler stratagem. I actually wasn't looking at the minimap while I was going towards topside because I was talking. I didn't see if we ended up spotting her or something, but I doubt it. I probably would have eventually noticed. Okay, she's over here. She only has blue. So maybe she did try to cheese me. Or maybe she just did. Oh, she's actually got that. Wow. Right, she doesn't have she doesn't have flash. Okay. No, I guess she just did those three camps and was like hanging out and was going to go back. But then our top laner found her and she doesn't have flash. And usually Evelyn's don't skill up W at level 3 unless they're going to early gank. So if you're just farming up early game, you're probably going to take Q at level 3. So two points in Q, one in E, and not have your W to remove slows. So that's very good for me. I could probably invade her red, too. That's probably what I'm going to do. Alright, she doesn't have flash, so if I can catch her while she's doing it, that would be great. Oh, not enough burst. Fuck. I actually thought I could kill her there. That was a re really bad use of my flash. I've got her now, though. Yeah, I don't know why she kept coming back. I guess it's because usually as Vi, if you catch out Evelyn in a 1v1, you can kill her but I haven't purchased any extra damage. I just went, uh, you know, more jungle jungle items. If I had longsword or maybe had bot boots, since she doesn't have flash, I just wanted to make sure the Q was for sure gonna hit because um, otherwise she could just see me and then run the other way and my Q won't reach her since we both don't have 
mobility and your movement speed slow on Vi. But she came back and we were able to secure the kill on her. This guy's got flash, but if we can... Oh, fuck, my auto didn't go off. Alright. That's good news for us, though. We're pretty far ahead of their jungler. Once I hit 6, I will probably try to fight Evelyn again. But until then, I might not know exactly where she is in the jungle. Like, it's actually kind of hard to find her. Because I could be, like, moving around and she could see me and then just, like, outmaneuver my vision. So unless I'm, like, sitting in a bush, she could potentially just not be found. Unless I knew exactly where she was going. And because she had done her blue and I knew her red was up, that's why I went to her red. So we'll go back and probably buy Warhammer and then just try to get a good ult off with my boots. I haven't placed the pink ward yet, but I kind of want to sneak it into her jungle if I can or put it in the river. Either way, I don't want to like place it and then just recall because then I can't defend it. The best places to put your pink are when you're actually able to fight. Um because then you can defend it and usually catch people because it takes five hits for them to kill it. You can, if you're in the area, catch them while they're finishing the ward. And you can harass them off of it and the pink ward obviously regenerates now too. Ah, oh, fuck that. It was pretty dangerous to go deep anyways, but because their support could roam and help. She's way too close to the tower. Unless I led with my ultimate and was able to sneak in behind her, it wasn't a good idea. We got rid of most of their summoners too. This should be the first tower. I'm gonna smite one of these minions and just try to help clear. We can deny most of these minions too. Before taking the tower, we can just kind of chill. Let the tower kill most of these minions and then finish the tower. We wanna make sure we can finish it before the wave goes down. Oh my god. There we go. Actually kind of risky there since I didn't have Vayne hitting it until a little bit later. Still get the first tower, but we should have hit it before the minions got low. Their bot lane is not really in a good spot to come back and because the other lanes are in a really good spot too like our top lane's just winning by himself and mid lane's winning by himself now I guess after the Lulu roam and me burning Gangplank's flash we could probably just focus our attention on bot lane and win this because we'll get dragon and they probably won't be able to fight us they just use a lot of their summoners especially Braum so if I can get here before they ward I can maybe get more here we go. Hmm. I didn't think he was going to suicide. I thought he was actually going to try to escape over this wall. So I didn't burn my... I, I like used my Q in a way that was more so to cut him off from trying to run than to like stop him from getting executed so we have to use our flash because otherwise we wouldn't be able to reach him in time before he gets executed because I have nothing else up my ult's not quite up yet oh shit is this worded? okay I'll just finish that 
cleanly as I can. Okay, Evelyn's here. I still need to keep up my farm. She's the same level as me, even though I've been like out ganking and getting towers and stuff. As a jungler, unless you're taxing lane super hard, if you're ganking mostly, you will fall behind in levels, even if you're you've got a decent amount of gold. So, you need to make sure you eventually go back to your jungle to farm, otherwise you'll be the lowest level in the game <laughs> pretty quickly. Because while you're moving in between lanes to roam, you're not getting any experience. Where supports will roam, but they're mostly staying in lane too when they're actually trying to fight. I'm probably going to max E second this game because it gives more burst. You get more uh, more of them too, so you can clear the jungle pretty quickly with your AoE. If you're against mostly tanks, then the W second is pretty good, but the E second just helps you crush squishies. I don't think you'll hit Mega in time. Poor guy. I've got red. I'll probably tax this wave so Nar doesn't have to teleport. That way Nar can save TP and go bot lane if they try to make a play. And I'll grab this tower gold. Mm, their Maokai is teleporting bot lane right now, so... There's not a very big wave though. I'm only going to get a little damage. Alright. We'll probably rotate to try to defend this. I mean, we might get this. Their team is not coming. <laughs> well, <laughs> all right, never mind. Evelyn decided to go and farm her wolf camp, and Malkai, I guess, took a while. Gangplank could have like ulted there maybe to save the tower. I figured that it wasn't worth it because they could just pretty easily wave clear it with um, Evelyn under the tower, and then we'd get baited by her ult and Gangplank ult and probably die if we're not careful. I'm just gonna go back. I've got too much gold. Just buy Black Cleaver here. Actually, no, this is a really good game for Ghost Blade. They're really squishy. They're not tanky enough to, <laughs> for me to get Black Cleaver. 13 minute Warrior Ghost Blade combo. Pretty scary. But I've been taxing lanes really hard and getting uh, a lot of gold from towers. Like, I got half the gold from the first tower going down and got the top tower and then got another tower. Definitely taking this blue though. Too strong not to. This is swept. This might not be though. Wait. Couldn't get the last E off. This probably gives us the tower though. We got all of Ezreal's sums. It 
if we had Lulu ult and she had ulted me to like knock up Ezreal before he was able to do much, probably would have been okay. Can't reach it. Plus he could just W to get rid of the CC. It's fine. Everyone's over here. Let's see if we can get a bush camp kill. She might get frustrated and go around this way. Actually, he might be able to get Ezreal or something. Come on, Ezreal, come this way. Man, I'm really deep. I'm committing for this Ezreal kill. Come here, I can reach you. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> well. Yeah. It's a tempting kill on Maokai, but if I ult him and get pulled into the tower. I might die. Flash OP. <laughs> when you're glass cannon Vi and you ult someone that's kind of close to a tower, they can just flash into the tower and get you killed. Fuck, they have a pink. Hey Valfred, can you PLB tell us their tactics and pick if you play support against Blitz? Best regards from Sweden. Uh, pick a tank. Pick Alistar, pick Braum. It's really freaking difficult for Blitzcrank to play against tank supports. So, yeah, your tactics when you're playing support against Blitz, pick a tank like Leona, Alistar, Braum. Walk in front of the hooks that are going to hit your AD carry and just initiate with it. I think I'm just going to go Duskblade now. That's why it sounds pretty good. Pretty much kill anyone with my ultimate if I have Dusk Blade and Ghost Blade this early. I was just like straight unlucky. <laughs> Prom just like suddenly turned around so my Q didn't hit him. Such a big wave bot. I could probably buy Dusk Blade after that and tanking my whole jungle. Their whole team's still alive, so we'll go and do our jungle. If my top side respawns, I can get Dusk Blade, I think, after a full clear. I don't care about Harold. <laughs> this game will be over at 20 probably if they don't do anything. Got Dusk Blade. Why not care about Harold? Because the score is 2 to 12. <laughs> Harold is like a long term buff that is about like turning the odds in a close top lane matchup. When you're winning this hard, 
I'm just trying to get as strong as I can before they forfeit to have a little fun. My team doesn't need me to do Herald. We're strong enough that the enemy team can't fight us. Probably even 4v5. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit, that damage. That was awesome. Oh, Eve's behind us, actually. Ooh, nice slow. Where'd your tower go? I, he's got the only armor on their team, so I probably can't one-shot him. <laughs> what if he got like teleported to my fountain with that W? That would have been hilarious. I'll go Trinity Force, last item, before they forfeit. Oh my god, come here boy. God damn it, I'm still going for it. Dustblade? No, Dustblade didn't kill him. Fuck you, Dustblade. Fuck you and your exhaust! God damn it! No. Ugh. Man, my Duskblade did so little damage to Braum because I think he used his... I think he shielded and it blocked like all the Duskblade damage. Or like a good percentage of it. it my Duskblade did like 130 damage when he was at like 20% health, it would definitely kill a normal non Braum. Alright, let's just go for maximum damage here. I could have just bought the longsword then bought the elixir, but I was thinking I was actually going to save the elixir, but I'm just going to go ham. No! 